This is your extreme weather outlook for this Friday. I'm meteorologist Daniel Kaiser. We're watching tropical activity in the form of Ernesto and Lane. I'll show you those here in just a moment. But back stateside, we are also watching the heavy rain threat as well as the potential of some severe storms. Taking you first out into the tropics, we do have tropical storm Ernesto out here in the Atlantic. Meanwhile, Hurricane Lane, a Category 2 hurricane in the Pacific. We'll start you off with Ernesto. You can see it here on satellite early Friday morning. It is expected to become post-tropical as we go throughout the rest of your Friday as it heads towards Ireland as we go into the weekend. Meanwhile, taking you out into the Pacific, here is a look at Hurricane Lane. It is a Category 2 storm as of Friday morning, but it is expected to become a major Category 3 hurricane later today, and then even a Category 4 as we head into the weekend before we see some slow weakening as it continues to move west into next week. It looks like it will move south of Hawaii at the moment. Taking back stateside, we are watching the potential for some areas of heavy rain from the northeast into the southeast and deep south as well as we go throughout the next several days. Parts of Mississippi could receive over three inches of rain as we go through 7 p.m. on Sunday. Taking a closer look at those rainfall totals, we could see over an inch of rain in Wichita. Meanwhile, about a quarter inch of rain in both Little Rock and New Orleans. Meanwhile, over two inches of rain possible in Jackson, Mississippi, with over an inch from Nashville down towards Mobile. And we could see about a quarter inch or so of rain for areas like New York City, Philadelphia, D.C., and Pittsburgh as we go throughout the next several days. We're also keeping an eye on the severe weather threat as we go throughout your Friday. We do have a couple areas of slight risks of severe weather. Large hail and damaging winds would be the main threat in any of the marginal or slight risk areas across the nation as we go throughout your Friday, although we can't rule out an isolated tornado across parts of the Northeast.